Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you where to find all the eight flames in Sea of Fra River. Before that though, I want to show you where to find this area in the world map. This is where it is in the map. Right now I'm standing where you find the Limgrave East map. Behind me there is a giant bear scratching at a tree. But if you go behind the map, you can actually find the structure that takes you to the river. And now getting to the actual river. Once you make it halfway through the area, you'll find this stairway that leads to something fancy at the end of it. And a few structures that need to be lit. I would recommend getting this map right here. As you might have seen before getting to the stairs, there's a structure that you have to light that works similarly to the Farron Woods lights you have to light before Abyss Watchers. You need to light eight of these to be able to unlock the secret of this area. So when I look at the map, this is where the eight flames are. I'm sure this alone is good enough to help most people find them, but I will be showing you the path to them from the closest Lost Grace. I would recommend lighting all the Lost Grace here, especially the first two before you actually do any of the torches besides the easy ones. What we're going to do is go four at a time. There's going to be four near the first grace in this part of the map. I would recommend using these beacons to mark the first four. These beacons will show in the overworld so you can see them from a little bit afar as long as they're in view and within range. So they're very helpful for this. There's obviously the first one here that you most likely already lit. There's another one to the left at the end of this little cave. Those are the two closest to the beginning of the area. And then go back on the horse for the next two. One thing I do want to mention is that there's something cool about this area. If you missed any of the flames, the stairway structures with the fire will actually skip a few flames, showing you that you skipped one or two. So if you were to get to the very end of the map, you will see that the very top torches are lit, but not some of the mid ones. So you'll always know if you missed one along the way and can go back. So you can use this reference if you missed one of them entirely. Okay, so that's the first four. Now I'd recommend going back to the first grace and warping to the second one. Because the last four will be closer to that one. So now place your beacons on the last four. The first two will be kind of backwards from the second lost grace. But they're pretty close to it, so it's pretty easy to just go back and get them without much danger. You've probably seen a little bit by now, but some of these enemies will get you from really, really far away. Especially the arrows. The bowmen, oxmen people have a really, really strong arrow attack if they charge it up. That has some magic particle effects. You should definitely watch out for that. I came to this area around level 20, I want to say, in my first playthrough, and they're basically two shotting me. Just for reference. With that said, I think it's safe to make sure you don't have any runes on you and just take the death if you need to. The fires will stay lit, of course, so you can just hit one and then just take a death if you want to. That's actually how I pretty much put all the markers on the map. <laughs> just took a death and left the stain there as a marker to show where I need to put the marker. Yeah, this one by the right is the last one I usually get. But yeah, now going back to the first Lost Grace, you can see that all the fires are lit in the stairway. And this is how it looked like whenever the thing at the end of the room is activated. I'm not going to spoil what is ahead. I will let you discover for yourself. I assume if you're watching this video, you haven't seen it yet. So I'll just let you see it for yourself. But yeah, that's it for this video. This is my first Elden Ring guide slash tutorial. If you don't know, I'm used to doing those for Demon Souls, especially for speedrun tech, since I do speedrun that game. And I do imagine I'll do the same for Elden Ring at some time, but I haven't even finished my first playthrough as of now. So yeah, if you enjoyed guides like these, make sure to subscribe. I'll still also be doing Demon Souls content if you like that as well. And I am currently doing my first playthrough still on Twitch if you're catching this near release date with the video. So you can follow me over there if you'd like to see my first playthrough continue. I just had this video idea one night in one of my break days. And it's possible this is a redundant video. It's possible someone already made one. I didn't check. I don't want to look up anything related to Elden Ring until I'm done with the first playthrough. But yeah, that'll be it. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.